Hey, before we start today's Monday Motivation, I want to invite all of my viewers and listeners to a very special event that's called Connect Conference. It's being held July 24th through the 26th at the Creve Hall Church of Christ located in South Nashville. And let me tell you, it will be time well spent. I mean, I love it. I can't wait for this time of year to roll around. You will walk away with a, your spiritual spark fanned into a huge flame. So let me tell you, it's some good speakers. Uh, it's some amazing singing with hundreds and hundreds of souls joining together to praise God. You don't want to miss this. Um, you can learn more about it at connectcon.org. Again, that's connectcon.org. And hey, if you see me there, would you come up and say hi? I surely would love to hear from some of the people that listen to these speaks. Now, let's get on with today's Monday Motivation. Hello everybody, it's DJ here with another Monday Motivation. I hope your week has started out great. Today I want to talk with you about an, the incredible value and worth of life and how each of us is, a, is so precious because we are made in the image of God. This is not something to take lightly, but rather something that really should have this profound influence on how we see ourselves and others. Let's start with this fundamental truth, and, and I want you to listen to me carefully here, all right? We are made in the image of God. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Let me say it again, because you need to really, really hear this. We are made in the image of God. In Genesis 1.27, it says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. This verse tells us that our worth and our value are inherent because we bear the likeness of our Creator. This divine image gives us immense dignity and worth that cannot be diminished by our circumstances or our mistakes. I want you to think about that. I mean, I want you to really think about that for a moment. The Creator of the universe, with all His majesty and power, chose to imprint His image on us. We really need to understand this truth because it has this profound implications on how we live our lives and how we treat other people. It means that each person we encounter carries this divine image and therefore deserves respect, love, and kindness that we can show them. Now, here's a story that beautifully illustrates this concept. I don't know if you're familiar with Nick Vucic. He was born without arms and legs in a condition called tetraamelia syndrome. You might imagine growing up that he faced incredible challenges, um, bullying, which led him to question his worth and purpose. Well, Nick's faith and had determination helped him to realize that his life does have immense value. And he soon, soon learned that he could have this gift to inspire others. And today, Nick is a motivational speaker, author, and founder of a nonprofit organization called Life Without Limbs. He travels the world sharing his stories and encouraging people to see their worth and potential despite their limitations. Nick once said, if you can't get a miracle, become one. And I encourage you to look up some of Nick's YouTube videos uh, and you, I, I promise, you're going to just be inspired by him. I know I was. Because you see, Nick's story is a powerful testament to the intrinsic value and worth of every human being. Despite his physical limitations, he found a way to inspire and uplift others, showing that our value is not based on our abilities or circumstances, but on the fact that we are made in the image of God. But you know what? Nick isn't the only person to use this sort of language to motivate us with this message. The Son of God, Jesus emphasized the value of human life in his teachings as well. Consider Jesus' words in Matthew 10, 29 through 31, when he said, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father, our Father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. In this passage, Jesus assures us that our lives are, are precious to God, who, who cares for us intimately and knows us completely. So, as you start this week, remember your intrinsic worth and value. The world may be telling you that you're a nobody, a fake, an imposter, a weakling, a has-been, or that you are worthless.
But let me make this clear. You are not defined by your achievements, your failures, or the other's opinions of, of you. Your value comes from being created in the image of God and nothing, and I mean nothing, can change that. So embrace the truth. It would guide your actions and interactions with others. But don't stop there. Consider how you can affirm the, the, that worth and value in the lives of others. Maybe it's through words of encouragement, acts of kindness, or simply treating everyone with the respect that they deserve. Look, we, when we acknowledge the divine image in ourselves and others, we create a more loving and compassionate world. And while we're at it, let's also take to heart the words of Psalms 139, 13, and 14, wherein the psalmist wrote, If you, you created my in, inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know full well. This verse reminds us that each of us is a masterpiece of God's creation, deserving of honor and appreciation. So this week, how about we commit to recognizing the value and worth of every person we encounter, including ourselves? Let's live in a way that reflects the divine image within us and honors the God who made us. And let's love each other. If, if we can do that, the world's going to be such a better place. I know we can. Of course we can. So, hey, I hope you have a great week. Remember, God loves you. And I do too. Bye.